to show you today are some more brassicas that I'm going to sow. I've already sown some. I've sown some Brussels sprouts and some cauliflowers and today I am going to sow some cabbage, some brucale and some calabrese. Now cabbage is lovely. This variety of cabbage I've got is called Primo. I have sown it and grown it so many times before. I find it's a wonderful cabbage to grow, very tasty. You get nice big round heads and it really seems to do very well. You can sow cabbage seeds outside. I don't like to because I find that they're so small that they get lost in, in the soil. So I always prefer to start them off in a seed tray. So you can start these off any time between February, March and possibly into early April. Depends what the weather's like. Um, it is early April now and I'm going to sow them because it has been very, very cold and we're about two weeks back uh, behind where we should be because of all that snow we had. Um, I'm going to sow some Calabrese, which is this variety here, which is called Matsuri. Now, a lot of people get confused. They think broccoli, what you see in the supermarket with the, the stem and the big bit of green on the top, uh, we call that broccoli in the supermarket. It's not, it's actually Calabrese. Broccoli is the small little bits that grow at the side. But to stop confusion, they tend to give it both names. Okay. <laughs> I have grown Calabrese before and it's grown beautifully. So I shouldn't see why this one would be any different. Now, these ones have gone through various names. Flower sprouts, petty posies, brucale, and I'm sure there's other ones. There are, there are other ones. I just can't remember what they're called. Uh, but basically, these are a cross between Brussels sprouts and kale, which are these ones. They are lovely. They grow like a Brussels sprout, and instead of getting the the sort of the the, the circular Brussels sprout on the stem, you'll get a, like a little flower sprout. A little. It looks. It looks like um, a cabbage flower. It's beautiful, and you just cook them exactly the same way as you would cook Brussels sprouts and they, they're, they're fabulous. So if you can find those, then get hold of those. I will sow all of these in exactly the same way and I will show you how I'm going to sow them. So here I've got my little seed trays. I've got three ready because I've got three lots of seeds to sow and you can either sow them in a seed tray or if you don't have a seed tray you can sow them in a three inch pot. All I've done here is I've put some multi-purpose compost down the in this in the tray and I have gently patted it down. I've then watered them and allowed the water to soak through. So now I am ready to sow my seeds. So the first one that I'm going to sow in here that I'll show you these are the cabbage. So these are the primo cabbage. Ooh. Now, germination rates for brassicas is usually very high. These are the cabbage seeds. Most brassica seeds look very, very similar. They can vary in shade quite a bit. Some will be darker, some will be lighter, but usually they are the same size sort of little balls. So all I'm going to do is I am going to sprinkle them. We like cabbage and so do the chickens. I'll sprinkle some seeds over the compost. Any ones that I don't want, I will just put back in the pack, except I've got some stuck between my fingers. And then when you've sown your seeds, just make sure that you put a little bit more, just sprinkle a little bit more compost on the top, 
just like that. Just make sure you level it off. Now I'll do the other two and when I've finished then I will come back and show you. Okay so here are my cabbages, my brucale and my calabrese all sown. I've just covered them with a little bit of compost each. I've made sure that I've labelled them correctly and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the greenhouse and hopefully in about 10 days to two weeks they should start popping through the soil. When I then prick them out then I will show you that and how to prick them out and what to put them in and all those other little stages that we need to do I will show you as and when I do them. Well I hope you give some of those a go or one of those a go or all of them a go it's entirely up to you but brassicas are very easy to grow the germination rate is very very high so I would suggest if you just wanted to grow about 10 plants at the end, uh, you know, planting them out, I would suggest that maybe you only sowed about 12 seeds because uh, most of them will come through. You can then discard any of the, the small ones that you don't want. Well, that's the brassicas for today. I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.